Glendale Parkway and autopilot at 65. Works. It's a slight bit unsettling, but it does work. No hands on the wheel. She is driving completely. At about 65 miles an hour is where I like to keep it set. Uh, there are a few spots where it gets a little shaky, uh, where I don't trust it. Uh, would be nice if I had full self-driving. I could do that maneuver without touching the wheel, but maybe someday. But autopilot is driving, so I'm in the parkway. Here we go. Some nice turns here. Autopilot. You can see the wheel moving. It's weird to me that the wheel moves as the car drives. It's very strange to me. Turn right. Whoa. The wheel is moving. It's creepy. Ghost driving the car. Sawmill Parkway. Cruising at 65. Love it. Now the heat is still on in here. Now it's beeping at me to touch the wheel. So you gotta give it a little pressure. Because I didn't touch it in a while. wanted to slow down I just scroll this wheel and take it down a couple knots. Now I like to take it down usually I go up the hill about 65 but there is a section coming up here where I don't like it as much um, it just rides a little close to the right it's fine it makes it through um, but it gets a little close to the right so I usually scroll it down to about 60 through here slow it down a little section right here it seems to get a little it doesn't it doesn't do anything weird it just scares me that overpass there coming down on the hill it just gets a little uh, I don't know why <laughs> maybe just <laughs> crashing my new car into that guardrail <laughs> just the only thing that goes through my head when I go through there I don't know why but this thing is it does the sawmill uh, there is one spot up uh, about two, three miles up that I won't use it on because it crosses over the white line if you're in the left lane, or if you're in the right lane, it crosses over the white line. I'll turn it back up to 65. Oh, not 67, that's a little too much. Um, but I could see with a couple improvements, and as they start getting this Neuralink up, and they start mapping these roads with the cars, like this will be much better. Um, it doesn't drive like a human. It doesn't hug the right when you're going to a right turn. It hugs the left. Uh, you know, it hugs the opposite side of what you would feel it should. Um, it does keep you in the lane. Uh, some people freak out next to it, and some people don't. Um, I've gotten strangely close to other cars, which I would think that the sensors would uh, stop that. Um, but it, it, it has happened. Um, it doesn't recognize stoplights or stop signs yet, so up here, if it's red and I'm the first car, then I'm going to have to stop. But if these people stop, then I'm good to go. I don't touch nothing. Um, you'll see every once in a while here, see those little white they're kind of circles coming up. Those are the sensors going off saying things are around you, so it's picking up the curb and stuff there. The sensors, the trees, the curbs, picking up all that over there. So, if another car was to pull up next to me, we'd pick that up and those sensors would go off. And if you get really close to them, they get they turn red. Oops, see, now it's telling me to touch something. Apply force to the wheel. So now I have to just pretty much grab the wheel and give it a little tug and it goes away. And you can see here, I mean, your efficiency. I've come down a 34.1 uh, miles. And uh, if I go to it here, go up here. I've used uh, eight kilowatt hours. I used about uh, 16 on a on a daily commute. This one's a little high because the uh, I did have the heat on for a little bit to try it out. Even 222 is a little high for me. Usually I'm around 190, 200. Um, but eight kilowatt hours. So if you figure that out, eight kilowatt hours times your normal electric rate, 18 cents. You know, a kilowatt hour. You know, you can do your math and figure out 
your uh, charge for the ride now. See, there's a red light. This car has stopped. So we are uh, good to go, except there might be a cop here. Phone down, put the phone down. No cops. So that's it. The sawmill, man. I mean, right now, so now stops. I don't have to touch nothing. It's just going to go on its own. There we go. And uh, we're just driving, man. This is it. I don't, I don't really drive. <laughs> I do. I mean, every once in a while, but there's some good turns up here, too. It goes through pretty nicely. Uh, I do get a little nervous being directly, like I said, to the left of someone or to the right of someone. But autopilot for the win, man. And this isn't even full self-drive. Again, this is autopilot. Uh, full self-drive is an extra $6,000 option that I did not purchase. I do plan to pick it up come tax time, I hope, with my tax rebate. Um, getting two grand back from just buying the car, then I'll roll in the other four as long as it doesn't go up. We're hoping, we're praying, because I want the full self-drive. If I had full self-drive, I could hit this marker here to switch lanes, and it would do it itself. It would move into that lane. Uh, right now, I'd have to disengage autopilot, uh, switch lanes, and then re-engage autopilot, which is not horrible but it would be great um more than you think and then like with this so this person's going a little slow i have the follow distance set up now it slowed itself down for that person um had i had full self-drive this thing would move into the left lane it would wait till traffic's clear move into the left lane and go it, it would be it, pretty cool <coughs> that and uh and summon feature where if you're in a parking lot you hit the button the car will come to you those are the two things I want out of full self-drive. Uh, they're not there yet. They're not 100%, and it's getting better every day, every week. Every two weeks, I get an update in this car uh, through the Wi-Fi, and it updates the software. It gets better. It's the, it is the only car I've ever purchased that got better since the day I picked it up. I mean, it's gotten better since the day I picked it up. I can't stress that enough. Um... As far as driving this car, this car is like, I don't know. See, I come from old beater cars. I've never had a new car, but and I've never had a sport car. Uh, the closest I can get is that Mustang I had, which was um, 1990. It was an older Mustang, but it was a pleasure to drive. It was tight in the turns. I mean, this thing is like sport. It's like driving a, a sport car. It's tight. It's It, it feels so good. Uh, the regen braking stepping off the gas you're gaining power back from the brakes uh it automatically breaks the car a little bit here's the spot where i said it uh goes nuts well it doesn't go nuts i just don't like it i'm not comfortable with it um yeah, if you watch here we're gonna go through the turn right see this uphill and then it kicks right here so watch the lane watch the lane here watch this Ooh. see she gets uh, right over that lane she goes right over just a hair but it's enough to make me uncomfortable um, as long as no one's next to me I'll do it but there were people next to me I had to turn it off uh, it's so tight such a pleasure to drive I mean unbelievable uh, the way this car feels with the regen braking you're not even braking you're stepping off the gas to brake the car so going through tight turns a little feather on the gas and back on it with the with that crazy pickup you know it, it's just uh, feels so good yeah I, you know for me being someone who came from really eh, cars you know i mean it's amazing i'm sure coming from a brand new car or a, a brand new sport car might be a little different even a brand new luxury car might be a little different i've come from you know crap cars i mean crap cars the last car was a 300 hundred dollar car you know, it lasted two years. It didn't take much to maintain, you know, but it was a crap car. Either way you look at it. So, so there, I pop it out just quickly. And even look, I'm driving worse than auto drive. <coughs> auto drive would have handled that better. I don't know why I took it out of auto drive. <coughs> Put it back in auto drive. That's it. I'm just tapping down twice on that stick. You see the blue wheel. She's in auto drive. She's ready to go. We're cruising. And that's it. That's the trip down the sawmill. You can see I, I touched the wheel once, really, and I didn't have to. That was my own doing. Uh, uh, Tesla, this, is, this car is amazing. Uh, I, it, I love it. It's a joy to drive. It's absolutely 
uh, it's absolutely great.